Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Today, I wanted to bring you guys a new series. I know I said that already, but this is going to be called Road to Level 1000 in Black Ops 4. Modern Warfare, I have been having a lot of difficulties with over the past couple weeks or so, as you guys may or may not know. Lots of times of me being frustrated, not wanting to quit the game, and in its current state, I can't play it really anymore. I'm going to, I'm still going to try and make content on the game if I can, but it's going to be really, really difficult over the next couple weeks until they fix the problems that the community wants fixed. As far as I know, they're not going to fix any of the problems we want fixed, which is going to kill the game, obviously, if you don't listen to your community. Your community is going to leave the game, so hopefully they'll listen to us, but for now, I wanted to bring you guys a new series. So this is going to be going up on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I'll come up with a different video three days a week, hopefully some Modern Warfare content mixed in there, maybe some Apex Legends as well. We'll just have to see how it goes, but for now, I think I'm going to be not playing Modern Warfare that much here on the channel, and because I love doing YouTube and I love making videos for you guys, I'm going to just bring you guys a new series where I... Just play Black Ops 4, have some fun, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So how this, how this series is going to work is I'm not going to show you every single game leading up to level 1000, because that would be like over 100 parts or more of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing two games per video, two of the best games within that play session. So if I get two games right away, then that's going to be the video. If I get two good games and then spread apart and that's how it's going to be but I just decided that I didn't want to do every single game leading up to level 1000 because that would just be a little bit ridiculous so I'm just going to do as I said just two games of video two two solid games of video and that's going to be it so this is going to be pretty fun hopefully you guys go to enjoy as you can see I'm level 325 right now which means I have 775 levels to go still before I hit level 1000 or 675, sorry. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a long grind, but I'm excited. I've never gotten to level 1,000 in any Call of Duty before. Why I'm picking Black Ops 3? Well, Black Ops 4, sorry. Well, I'm the closest to that level. So anyways, I'm not, not going to waste any more time. It was a way longer of an intro than I wanted it to be. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, guys. Hello and welcome into the game. We joined a little bit late, so I'll probably play two games after this, two full games after this. Because we joined a little bit late. There's only 30... I, I, I can't remember if this is kill confirmed or if this is... Okay, it's kill confirmed. So there's only about 20 tags left within the match. So, therefore, the game's pretty much almost over. So I'll play another one for you guys here in this game. In this video, sorry. This is the first part. As I said, so... I'll make it a little bit longer for you guys. Kind of the beginning of a, a brand new series so yeah I'm really excited for this as I said I've never been to level 1000 in any Call of Duty game so I'm really excited to actually try and get level 1000 here in this game I'm hoping it's supported but I guess I'll find out in the near future if it is supported because I am pre-recording this and I'm actually going to be going away tomorrow, back home for Thanksgiving. So I won't be able to make videos for a couple days, so I will be preparing some videos in advance for you guys while I am home. So I just hope that these videos do well. I just thought it would be kind of fun because I don't enjoy Modern Warfare really, so... Which is unfortunate because I was really, really positive about that game this year. I really was. Ooh, let's get into cover. I was really, really positive about this game this year, but, you know, the developers just aren't listening to us. And we're the community. What the heck was that? Whoa, that's that's what that was. My aim assist was going, going crazy, and I was just wondering what, why it was going crazy, and now I understand why. I mean, the developers just don't listen to the community, and it's really unfortunate and sad that they don't do that. And I saw a very interesting com. I just saw a, a not a comment, but a a video from a YouTuber here that said that that gave a very very interesting and good comment. He said, "Noobs will play Call of Duty either way. 
Whether they get destroyed or not, they'll still play the game because... What? Oh, that's right. They hacked that one. Because when you're when you're not good at a game, you still enjoy it. So... I mean, heck, when I played Call of Duty back in the day, I was horrible, but I still had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, that was a bad place to put me in. I still enjoyed the game, and I thought it was a lot of fun, in spite of the fact that I was getting wrecked every single game. So, I, and I still played Call of Duty every single day. And s even though I was a bad player, I still played every day. And that was that was an unfortunate death towards the end of that. But 11-4, 12-4, not too bad for the very first game. So there we go. We unfortunately lost that first game, but I went 12-4, and four, so that's not too bad. That's going to be kind of my goal for each of these games in the video is a 4KD. Uh, or a 3KD, sorry. If I could do better than a 3KD, I'd be, I'd love that. But a 3KD is kind of that, kind of that goal for the, for this, uh, for this series. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed that first game, and I will see you guys in the second game. All right, guys. Hello and welcome to game number two. We're playing some TDM on launch, which is a great map. Obviously, this came out with the last operation for Black Ops 4, and. Obviously, it's amazing. It, it was a great map in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 4, it translated amazingly. Plus, it's at night, which I think is super cool. And adds a lot to it. Now, there's quite a few new players in this lobby, actually. So, I don't know if that's common. Like, where players who... Or where people play the new I mean people get the old the, the Call of Duty from the year before uh, after the after the old one is out that wouldn't surprise me at all but it's it's kind of cool actually that people are buying this game and playing it because honestly I think this is a great Call of Duty game in my honest opinion I think it's a great Call of Duty game not the best but it's good I, I like it I mean, if I'm playing it after it's out, obviously I have some attachment to it, and I think it's a decent game. If it was a bad game, I wouldn't be playing it right now. So, so I think it's I think it's a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Obviously, you're f always free to have your own opinion, but it's just, that's just my opinion. I think this guy. Ooh, wow, that was so close. Uh oh! I'm so lucky to be alive right now. I'll throw that smoke right there. Kind of get people away from me for a minute. And... Okay, I was like, did I just get absolutely turned on? But I didn't get turned on. It was, there was a guy camping over there with the Hades and, and there's that one guy in front of me. So that makes a little bit more sense because I was super, super confused there for, for a second. There's a guy coming from this way. No way! How? How do I lose that gunfight? That was so dumb. Anyways, we're using the Grav or the Galil, whatever you want to say. And what perfect map to use the Grav on than this one? Because, of course, the Galil was a classic, classic weapon from Black Ops 1. My second favorite gun in Black Ops 1. If any of you guys can guess my first favorite gun, if you made it this far in the video, I want you to put it down below in the comment section. Oh, that guy almost absolutely got annihilated. I want you to put in the comment below, what do you think my favorite gun in Black Ops 1 was? I bet you guys... I bet you guys... I bet you guys can't guess what it is. Damn it! Why am I dying so stupidly? I hate that. It's just so dumb. I shouldn't di be dying to a no attachment Hades when I have a grab that shot him first. Like, that just doesn't make any sense.
Okay, run. No! Oh my gosh, I almost died. I was stuck on something. Yes, let's go. Perfect. That that just that worked out exactly how I wanted it to work out. Nice, another guy down. Okay, there's a guy coming from my right. I mean my left, sorry. Yep, there she is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill her though. She's she's a pretty high leveled player. Nope, that didn't work. Damn it! Why did I try and do that? That was that was dumb. Uh, sixteen and six. All right, we have to do better than this. We have to do better than sixteen and six. Please, please show yourself. How? How do I get outgunned? That's so stupid. That is so dumb, man. I shot him. I shot her first. Like, come on now. All right, we have to do better than this. Have to do better than this. Come on, come back here. Thank you. No! What are these spawns doing to me, man? These spawns are literally just so unlucky. Thank you. Thank you for letting me heal. Nice, okay, I, there's a teammate over here, so it must be safe. It must be safe that there's a teammate over here. All right, I'm gonna go this way, I think. Yep, one guy down. Pretty sure more people are gonna come through here. Nice. Anybody else? I can't I couldn't even see him All right beautiful that Dang it dude So unlucky. I'm so unlucky Oh my gosh, dude, oh my gosh My gosh, man, what is happening? Tactical reinforcements available. Dang it. Come on. Screw off, spawns. Quit screwing me over. I don't like getting screwed over by horrible spawns. Damn it! Come on! Starting to get really, really annoyed. Starting to get really annoyed. Like legitimately triggered. They're all spawning behind me. get my streaks I have to get my streaks Enemy sniper's nest inbound. no thank you I do not like that they have a sniper's nest that was so bad. Let's see if this guy... 
He did exactly what I wanted him to do. Thank you very much, buddy. Looks like that. What? Are you kidding me? We have the same weapon. How do I lose that gunfight? We literally have the exact same weapon, and I lose that gunfight. Yes. Oh, uh, why? Wow, wow, wow. Why are they spawning here? Okay, I need to get the frick out of here. Please don't die. Thank you. Thank you. Run. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Run away. Run away. Run away. All right. Whew. Wow, that was a very crazy ending. 42 and 13. That's a pretty good game, number two. I'm thinking we went, up, we got above that 3KD, which was exactly the goal. I apologize for the rage, but sometimes Black Ops 4 is still a frustrating game. It's better than Modern Warfare, more fun than Modern Warfare, but it doesn't take away from the frustration of, pardon me, of the fact that it is a Call of Duty game. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed game number two. And I will see you guys in two seconds for a game number three. All right, guys, hello and welcome to a game number three of the video. A little... A little longer of a first part for you guys. Nice. Started off with a nice little two piece. Hopefully, we can do well. As I said, 3KD is that limit. Now, is that Peacekeeper guy still head glitching over there? Because if he is, that would be no bueno. And it looks like. It looks like he left, which is good news. So, that's a good sign. Now, I'm using the Demon. 3xb which is a fantastic L uh, smg sorry okay that guy took my kill luckily there's the ekia system in this game which is absolutely phenomenal and part of the reason i have the highest kd out of any con in this game is because of that feature i mean it's so genius like it's so genius to get rid of those stupid annoying assists that Nobody likes okay. Am I going to d actually die here by a bunch of fire and stupid stuff or can I live and just get the heck out of there? Because that would have been super super annoying now because of the fact that I have Flak jacket on that's the whole, that's the entire reason I even lived through that Which is why, which is why I always say, flak jacket is super underrated in this game, but it is amazing, absolutely amazing. Going out. Okay, looks like they're all over this that way. So I'm gonna go this way. Contraband is a fantastic map, arguably the best map in the game. Base map, arguably the best. Really, that's disgusting, dude. That is absolutely disgusting. Laying prone in the back of the map sounds. Wow, I, I just Can't believe someone just plays like that, but whatever whatever it's fine. No big deal Okay, they're definitely either Is there any enemies up here? No, there's not where the heck is everybody at man? Why are they all over here? Hey okay, run guy down let's see if this guy decides to <sighs> oh yeah I love that gun so balanced freaking crossbow such a broken weapon arguably the most broken gun in the entire game What? Come on, that's so stupid. I wasn't even weak. Th okay, that's dumb. That is so dumb. That is so dumb. How can that even... How is that even possible? That should never happen in 100,000 years. Get one hit. I swear there was an enemy just over here. Not two, not, but one second ago. Yeah, th 
okay, that gun is so balanced. That gun is that, that gun is so balanced. It's completely fair. Completely fair to use. Obviously, I hope you can detect my sarcasm there. Because that is freaking... That just pisses me off. I don't know what to say. That just... That just ticks me off. I hate dying instantly by stuff I shouldn't be dying instantly to. Yes. Nothing else for, th for. Th Come on. I okay. I hate attack deploy beacons so much. Jeez, Louise. This is insane. Please come through here. Pretty short. Get the heck out of here. A lot of hit markers, but I got an assist, luckily. What? A wow. I I'm losing these gunfights that I just I just scratched my head about. But I guess that is Black Ops 4 for you. But I mean he has a peacekeeper and I have an SMG and he outguns me. Like how does that make sense? How how, how does that make any sense at all? Oh well. Oh well, it's fine. We're not doing too bad. We just need to, we just need to get a couple more kills without dying and we'll be right we'll be right back in this game. Not not even worried about it. See there we go, boom. Already back out of 3 KD. Predicted that. I predicted that pretty well, luckily. Thank you. Let's see if there's anybody camping up here. Nope. There is not. And based off of where all my teammates are, there should be enemies spawning over this way. There's not. Then I obviously don't know the spawns very well, but as far as I know, it looks like they are spawning over here. Thank goodness I got a headshot. Run, 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 run. Now I can engage. Thank you very much. And it looks like they're back over here again. Spawns, man. Spawns are very unpredictable. They, flip, they just flip insanely fast in TDM. Dang it. I didn't even know he was there. Fair play. He had dead silence. So I wouldn't have known where he was even if I wanted to. Because he is completely... Oh, that... Oh, I shouldn't have won that gunfight. I'll take it, though. Don't think I'll complain about, about winning that gunfight. Because I will not do that. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, who didn't watch me during Black Ops 4, because there's a lot of you, over 100 people in less than a month, which is just absolutely insane. I can't thank you guys enough. In Black Ops 4, I primarily, I'm in such a bad situation. Luckily, he left so I could get out of it. And you, wow, it's already gone? That makes me sad. Anyways, for those of you guys who are new, Firebreak was pretty much the main specialist I used within Black Ops 4. Obviously, I switched it up quite a bit. I even switched it up quite a bit in this video. But if you look at all the stats combined for all of the uh, all the specialists, Firebreak is, pardon me, by far my most used. So I, I really enjoy using him. Flamethrower. Thank you. I don't know what that guy what that guy was doing, but take a free kill. I think I. Ooh, I want this. Thank you. And he's he is super one shot. I think this guy should be. Yep. Okay, looks like they're. 
Okay, I'm super confused. I see my my acoustic sensor going off like crazy, but I don't know where the enemies are. Okay, I need, I need, 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 need to get my streaks. It's 78 to 80. No way! No way! That is so cheap, dude. That is so cheap. He doesn't even have to try. That really annoys me. I'm sorry, but that, that really annoys me when that happens. I mean, literally, he should not have gotten that kill. That is so lame. That is so just... So cheap. All right, we're down by one kill. Can we win this game? Can we win this game? Quit looking at the, quit looking at the scoreboard, Kyle. Look at the enemies. Okay, I'm pretty sure... There's a guy there. See if I can get a little flank on them. How to win that gunfight? Luckily, I did. How to win that one as well? No! Look, luckily, we're gonna win. Yes, 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 yes. Forty-five and eleven for the final game of the video. Let's go! I'm so happy we won that. A lot of stupid deaths, which I apologize for. But I mean, what are you gonna do when there is a crossbow that instantly kills you anywhere in the body? But luckily, we were able to get a nice little comeback there. Drop to 4KD, which I'm very happy with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the very first episode of Road to Level 1000 with me, Kyle, for the win. I will show you at the end of this how we did level-wise. I think we got to level 326 and halfway through level 326, but we'll have to see once we actually load into the game. But that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I really hope this series does well because I really enjoy doing series. I think they're super fun to do. So I hope I hope this does well. Now let's see exactly perfect. So we made it about three quarters of the way through level 326. So yeah, if I could do about a level or two of video, that would be pretty cool. But as I said, this might be a really long series if it's just a level or two for video. But as I said, I'm, I'm not gonna as I said I'm not gonna play just every single game for you guys because that would just be ridiculous. I'll probably play. Oh, quite a bit off camera as well but i just wanted to kind of take you on a journey to that level a thousand by the end of this series but anyway guys if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe if you are new make sure you check out all my other recent videos here on the channel as well as i said it's pretty tough with modern warfare not turning out to be as fun as i thought it would be but nonetheless i thought this would be a really fun series to do and if you guys enjoyed it a like rating is always appreciated and i will see you guys all on another call of duty modern warfare video or black ops 4 video very very soon